Hello and welcome to Top X, where we count down the very best that YouTube has to offer. Today, we're taking a look at the top 10 underrated YouTube gamers. For this list, we're taking a look at channels with smaller fan bases and with less than 2 million subscribers, but who are nonetheless extremely good at what they do. Number 10, The King Nappy. What's good, YouTube? That one I need to hear back again once again. And say, people, today we're gonna go outside and play Pokemon Go. JK, we don't have to because we found a Pokemon already! Just kidding, we actually are gonna go outside and play some Pokemon Go. Though he's yet to eclipse the half million subscriber mark, this king of charisma and his recurring cast of friends try to catch them all with an infectious enthusiasm. While still relatively small, his fan base relies on Kyle, aka Nappy, for entertaining Let's Plays. Time is out, battle's over. We won! Because he loaded dance! We f***ing won! Are you serious? As well as news and updates about new and upcoming Pokemon releases. Well, with this trailer, we have a new Alola form that was not spoken about, was not released through Koro Koro, and that is Alola Raichu. Nappy started in 2011 with general Let's Play videos for many different kinds of games, but started to focus on Pokemon after the release of his Pokemon Sapphire Let's Play published in 2012, and he and his audience have never looked back. All right, so here's the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Who do you choose to accompany you on your journey? Number nine, the RPG Minx. Look at my tongue. Look at my tongue. There's someone... <laughs> I'm coming, hang on, hang on, I've, I've got a victim. This is, this is, this person's loaded. Primarily focusing on horror and indie games. Michelle Smith, or the RPG Minx, is an influential female voice in the YouTube gaming community. She's collaborated with other YouTube gamers for such popular series as Two Lesbians Play, with her wife, Chrism. What was this series called? Num Bum? No. Bum Num? No. Pretzel Nums? That would be pretty nom nom for series, actually. But it's not that. Is it two lesbians play? Maybe. She's also known for her critical commentary, where she and a fellow YouTuber play the worst games that Steam has to offer, and another series where she deconstructs some of the absurd games that are created for and marketed towards women. Of course, we need to shave her armpits. I remember that popular Barbie where you shave Barbie's armpits. That's great. With just over 1 million subs, it's clear why her unique voice has amassed such a large and dedicated audience. Um. <laughs> You okay there, Ani? Nah, I think I'm dead. Number eight, Metal Jesus Rocks. Despite a small subscriber base of just under 300,000, Metal Jesus Rocks is a bona fide YouTube gaming veteran, having been part of the community since 2006. Lost Kingdoms 1 and 2 are fantasy role-playing games by From Software. Does that developer sound familiar? That's because From Software created the much-loved Demon Souls and Dark Souls series for current-gen consoles. Mixing his love of gaming with his passion for music, he and his gang of friends provide insightful retrospectives, highlighting some of the forgotten and hidden gems of gaming both old and new. It's a sla hack and slash, side-scrolling hack and slash, and then in the boss fights, it's, it turns into a fighting game. Whoa, that's awesome. He's a big time collector, boasting an impressive game room with over 5,000 titles in his collection. If you're looking for tips to build your own gaming sanctuary, look no further than Metal Jesus Rocks. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that my game room had fairly small and humble beginnings, and it has grown a lot over the last couple of years. Number seven, K-pop. Oh no, Amanda Bynes is Rib. screaming at herself in the Maru. mirror. Oh boy. K-pop describes her channel as video game entertainment with sarcasm, shade, and sass. All of which, when put together, make for some interesting and unique Let's Plays. That's not actually water. That's a full bottle of vodka. Madison is a hardcore alcoholic. K-pop joined YouTube in 2006 and has been posting Let's Plays since 2010, growing a fan base of over half a million subscribers since then. Primarily focusing on The Sims, K-pop has provided her ironic commentary on a number of games spanning a wide array of genres, from AAA titles like Heavy Rain to bizarre licensed games like America's Next Top Model for the Wii. What's down here? Can I push someone into the ocean? Oh, I'm sorry. A really crazy wave out of nowhere just grabbed them. It's tragic. She was so young. Number six, Spoonerism, the camping tree. Hey. Oh no, I got busted. 
I was just looking at boobs! Known for his outlandish, often immature sense of humor, Spoon began as a machinima director, but due to copyright issues, his films have been removed from YouTube. He then pivoted to become a popular Let's Play commentator and joined the Creature Hub, a collective of like-minded Let's Players and machinima makers in 2009. I'm wondering, uh, when, when is Spoon going to show his face? Uh, I don't know, Spoon, when are you? Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Spoonerism! Come up here, Spoon! Spoonerism lends his commentary and comedy chops in Let's Plays for a ton of popular multiplayer first-person shooters, from CSGO to Overwatch, as well as other games like Minecraft and, of course, GTA V. His subscribers, which number over 750,000, come for the games, but stay for the laughs. I think, I think, I think, I think I am. What the hell? Ah! The f ah! Oh, no! No! <laughs> I was so close! Number five, Space Hamster. And you're just playing Animal Crossing? Like, yeah. what's wrong with you? What are you, a 13-year-old girl? You're telling us to be good. You know, you just got me, you got me good. You just, you know, you sprinkle it on those tooth flakes, you know? Another gamer whose sense of humor has become a staple of their videos. Jeff Faber, AKA Space Hamster's funny and informative top tens and top five videos about video games have become his claim to fame. I'm challenging you to a match, man. Well, we gotta play a Final Destination and we gotta turn off all the items, okay? Aside from lists, Jeff posts game reviews and is a founding member of the popular gaming site Hidden Block, along with other well-known and active members of the YouTube gaming community. What's great about this game, though, is that you can use practically everything as a weapon. Found a knife? Use that! You want to hit balls at things? Well, you can do that, man. Nobody's gonna stop you! His style is definitely one of a kind, and has earned him a strong subscriber base of over 500,000. If you go to the top of this here tower, you're actually going to find something special. And it's a... Bubble gun. It's a bubble gun. That'll come in handy. Number four, some call me Johnny. <laughs> Word on the street is you got a new Nintendo 64 game coming out. Could you be a little more specific? We got a lot of new games coming out. <laughs> Despite having the lowest subscriber count on this list with just over 250,000, Some Call Me Johnny is nonetheless a noteworthy gaming personality whose review style is uniquely his own. But even when you're equipped with your weapon of choice, nothing will prepare you for what will probably be the most difficult game you ever played on the NES, maybe in your entire life. Johnny is best known for his Johnny vs. series, where he reviews mostly classic games with an irreverence and calm delivery that is both hilarious and insightful. They can help you complete the mission objective in certain stages to stay on course, so keep them alive even if you really don't want to at times because let's face it, Slippy's accident prone, Peppy's sort of there, and Falco's a massive cock mongrel. Gee, I've been saved by Fox, how swell. Longtime fans of the channel will no doubt be familiar with the countless recurring in-jokes scattered throughout his videos, which admittedly won't make a lot of sense to first-time viewers. You want me to beat this stage? Okay, I'll beat this stage. Number three, Immortal HD. How many of them are alive? Three versus four. There's no way we, we can miss or lose. I mean, this kid's in pit. Get this kid. Kill his family. Get him. Did you kill him? I can't see. A former member of the gaming collective The Creatures before starting his own group known as Cowchop, Immortal HD, or Alexander Merchant, is a well-respected voice in the YouTube gaming community, due in large part to the production quality of both his Let's Plays and hilarious machinima short films. I'm defusing the bomb. Known for his funny and sarcastic imitations of the average pro gamer, Alex has built a strong bond with his fans over the years and has a large following of 1.2 million subscribers. I still have no idea what you guys are doing right now. I'm like, winning the game by planting the bomb is what I'm doing right now, bro. Number two, extra credits. Do you want more from your games? Do you want to know how games are designed, built, and produced? Providing invaluable insight and analysis into the cultural, financial, and design implications of video games and gamer culture. Extra credits is like the class you wish you could have taken in school. Most games simply start in Act 2, spend 90% of the time there, and then end with a quick, rushed Act 3. This structure tends to leave us with characters we can't associate with, and a story we don't really care that much about. Founded in 2011, Extra Credits has made it their mission to explore gaming in new and exciting ways, and to inform players about all the decisions that go into making a game. The objective you're given as a player drives you toward a play state that's way less interesting than most of the rest of the game, which makes the game less fun for everybody involved. So the designers had to include something to prevent this from happening. Hence, the blue shell. With over 800,000 subs, Extra Credits makes its fan base smarter with each new video and occupies an important space in the YouTube gaming community. That sounds good to you? Then join us each week for Extra Credits, because games matter.
before we get to our number one underrated YouTube gamer, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Chugga Conroy. And you are scared with your back turned at the wall. Your legs are even still shaking from it. Meanwhile, these suits of armor come to life and are swinging their swords at you. And you don't so much as bat an eyelash at it. Chugga Conroy's deep love and knowledge of games is immediately obvious to anyone who's watched more than a minute of any one of his videos. His enthusiasm is infectious and his let's plays are light and funny as he tends to cover Nintendo games like Luigi's Mansion and Super Mario Sunshine. Hey, gold bone. I guess that means we're getting another phone call, doesn't it? <laughs> or in this case, a bone call. Sure, his puns are bad, but in a way that's kind of funny and endearing in a dad joke kind of way. You could totally imagine me chilling out here, you say? Well, um, I think her and I are gonna get along a little bit better as time goes on. His videos are for gamers of all ages, and you'd have to think that out of his 1 million subscribers, there are gamers from all walks of life who can enjoy his easygoing approach. We have 23 flip side tokens from that. I got fourth. Take that, fret. Hey, don't fret. Maybe you'll do better next time. Okay, 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 fine. I had to. So that's it for today's countdown. What are some of your favorite underrated gamers on YouTube? In your face, you Jerk. You're not finished yet, fool. There's still Empress Sardius. Let us know in the comments. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Vote for upcoming lists on our Suggest page. And for more gaming top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.